Good morning and thanks for joining us. I'm Nabil Ramadna here with Sean Kelly and Sean again all eyes on that Texas coastline is the hurricane. Oh, it's, it's now been upgraded to a hurricane Hannah. Yeah, that's right with category one winds. That's uh, 75 miles per hour. Some gusts over that right now as we speak and it will continue to intensify through the next uh, eight hours or so before it makes landfall uh, some point between about two and four o'clock right now. The projections look like it'll be south of Corpus Christi between Baffin Bay and Brownsville again early this afternoon. We actually have uh, meteorologist David Yeomans out in North Padre Island, uh, which is again just off the coast of Corpus Christi. Uh, how's the scene looking out out there? I know we were talking about earlier. It's possible that the area that you're you're standing at right now may experience some stronger wind gusts than Hurricane Harvey just off the placement of the storm system, how it's going to be making landfall south of the area, but you're going to be on that onshore flow. The storm surge could be worse, and yes, you could even see some stronger wind gusts out there as well as the winds will be in that northeast quadrant in your area. Yeah, and Sean, we're a little bit concerned about that. Like we told you yesterday on KXAN News, uh, yesterday evening, some folks around here were just kind of expecting a weaker tropical storm. But as we first warned you days ago, uh, this thing could have turned into a hurricane. Now it is the first hurricane of the 2020 Atlantic season, and it could actually become a stronger hurricane than a Category 1, possibly reaching Category 2 strength. Uh, pretty quickly here this morning and midday. We're under a hurricane warning here at Bob Hall Pier on North Padre Island. 95 mile an hour wind gusts possible this afternoon. A storm surge inundation of three to five feet, which means the ocean may rise three to five feet above ground level. That's how deep it gets uh, in some parts of the island today. And speaking of which, we've seen the tide keep rising here at Bob Hall Pier. Look at all these littered uh, logs around here. They might look small on TV, but each one of these is about six feet tall and probably weighs too much to pick up. These are all the pylons, which were kind of marking off this parking area, which as you see now is covered in inches and inches of sand. The beach has kind of overtaken uh, this parking area as the tide has now risen another foot just since we came out here this morning and a total of about five feet above the high tide level which is typical for this time in the morning. Out in the distance there, you're looking past the picnic tables where my crew and I actually had dinner last night. Those are now underwater and starting to shift. And look at the pier. That's Bob Hall Pier there in the distance. Obviously shut down with good reason. Yesterday evening, we had some surfers out here. Today, that's certainly not the case. We're under a high surf warning. We're under a storm surge warning. Uh, no conditions to be out there. Those waves are now overhead, whereas last night, they were just a foot or two off of the sea surface. Now, again, there's a little bit of a concern here, I think, as the waves really continue to pile in. The storm's about 70 miles offshore, and even though the narrative here was for a weaker storm among the residents that they could handle, and the narrative is now even that the storm is going to hit south of these residents, I worry that folks may not have prepared adequately in this area with a 45 mile wide eye, which is usually, what, 10 or 20 miles wide? Uh, this thing is going to have far reaching impacts. I was just doing the math and looking at the map. Even if this makes landfall closer to Baffin Bay where it's anticipated to, that would put us either in the northern part of the eye still right here up toward Corpus Christi. Uh, and it would certainly put us in the eye wall, which is like the donut, the concentric ring around the clear eye. And that's where the worst impacts are. So bottom line here, I think uh, south of Port Aransas and into Corpus Christi here on North Padre and Mustang Island, even though we might be 40 or 50 miles north of the landfall location, this is exactly where we may get some of those worst impacts from the onshore wind and from the eye wall. So we'll keep checking back with you here, guys. After 9 a.m., we're going to have to move locations uh, just to make sure that the crew and I are staying safe. Uh, but we're looking forward to seeing what this might look like a little bit later today as this is really just getting started. In the meantime, David Yeoman's live on North Padre Island. We'll go back to you guys.